Okay, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. I'm here at Electrify Canada charging station. What am I doing at Electrify charging station, you ask? <laughs> at least an Electrify America one? Well, it's time to test something out. This is what we're gonna test out. It's the Model 3 adapter. Uh, it is the genuine Tesla one. Um, now this one is straight from South Korea. Really the only place I, I know that actually sells this adapter right now, currently in the end of uh, April, 2022, is South Korea. And let me tell you, before anyone asks how I got it, uh, down in the comments below and if I can get one for you. No, I can't get one for you. This I got on my own, paid my own money for it. And it wasn't, aid wasn't cheap but I think it's gonna be cheaper than uh, when Tesla does eventually release it here in North America. But also, it's uh, not an easy process. So as much as I'd love to get this for all my viewers and all my subscribers out there, I can't. But I, I mean, I'll tell you, it's like you have to go on the official uh, Korean website. You have to uh, put in your, you have to log in your regular uh, Tesla credentials and all that kind of stuff. And you have to pay with a credit card and you have to have a, a South Korean address to ship it to. So that's the hardest part there. I know there's some rumors out there saying that uh, unless you have a South Korean VIN or a South Korean credit card, they won't sell it to you. Well, I don't have a South Korean credit card. I'm not Korean myself, even if you may think I am. But I was able to get one with a Canadian credit card and a Canadian VIN. So those are rumors. Don't believe everything you hear on the internet. There is at least one website that I know of right now, currently, and probably more, that uh, will get you one for an added fee. I think it's roughly between four or five hundred dollars Canadian, uh, which is about three hundred, four hundred dollars uh, American. Um, but the problem is, you have to give them your Tesla credentials, your username and password, and all that kind of stuff. And I'm pretty sure you have to give them your credit card. I don't feel comfortable doing that for a website that I don't even know. So. Buyer beware, use at your own risk. I've seen it pop up um, in my uh, Facebook groups a few times and I warned everyone like, not to say they're not good sites, but buyer beware. Just just be careful when you're giving an unknown entity your uh, information. So anyways, enough of me talking. Let's see if this works. This is uh, the Electrify Canada. Same thing as Electrify America. Uh, it's just a Canadian version of it. And this puppy right here next to me, there's a, uh, actually it's not a bad one. This is like, I think four or five stalls, maybe six stalls here. They're all 150. This puppy is 350. So let's see how much we can get on the 350. Now I've never used this before, so okay. So the first thing it says to do is plug in first. So plug it in. Fits in quite nicely. Then put it into the car. I think it's sitting in there. I can't really tell. Okay, so I don't know if you can tell, it says it's 57 cents a minute for anything that's uh, 1 to 350 kilowatts. Anything from 1 to 90 kilowatts is 27 cents a minute. Not bad, better than Tesla right now. And I think if you're a member up here, it's uh, probably cheaper. Okay, so it says use credit card reader to get started. So do I just tap it? Just tap. Does it do tap? Try another card. Please unplug, start a new session, reconnect. Oh, see, this is the problem. If I go over here, it shows red. So let me unplug, Let's start again. Oh, now that's closing on me. I only have one hand here. So open it up again, plug it back in. It's showing blue. Go back over to the screen. It says it's connecting to the vehicle and talking. It's showing that again. Now I'm going to tap. Processing payment. It's talking to my bank, I guess, or talking to the car. It's going through a little rigor remote. Payment declined. A payment has been declined. Okay, see, this is the problem. Let me put the, tap the credit card again. Maybe it doesn't take tap. Maybe I have to swipe it or insert it. Or these are the problems of having a non-supercharger public charger. Payment declined again. Okay, you try one more thing. Oh, it's not even let me retry. Okay, let me try inserting the pin. So now I've 
inserted it. Did. Oh, okay, now it's saying uh, it liked the pin, the, the chip. So now it's making a lot of noise. Hopefully you can hear me. Uh, the light is going from blue here. It should turn to green shortly. Then we'll hop in a car and see what kind of speeds we're getting. Oh, it's green. Let's go in the car and see uh, what kind of speeds we're getting here. Now, keep in mind, the car is only charged to, uh, is only as low as 28%. So it's not fully, fully low. So speeds will be, um, you know, limited here. Okay, so right now we're at already at 119. Wow, that's not bad at all. 119 with the chart with the adapter. Um, that's better than Chadmo right off the bat. And that's fairly, I mean, keep in mind, it's 30% or 28%. Now we're at 30. That's not bad speeds at all, folks. Um, even the older Gen 2s, uh, superchargers that are 150, wouldn't get 119 consistently like that. Okay, so now we're up to 125 kilowatts. 125 kilowatts is pretty good. I mean, 126. Okay, so I don't know if you can see there. It is 131 kilowatts. That's the new high record here. 131, 131 now, and we're at 40% charge, as you can see there. So for, I know it says 350, and this car will only do 250, so it won't even do the 350, and with the adapter and everything. Uh, 131, that's pretty good. Let me go outside and see what the uh, cabinet is saying, if this the car says 131. Okay, it's saying 41% charge. Uh, it's saying 132. 132 is what the, the unit is delivering to the car, and um, that's pretty good. So, not a lot of loss now. If that's doing 132, and in the car is saying, oh, the car is saying 132 now also. So 132, 131. Um, no energy loss there. So at the beginning, there was a little bit, but not anymore. Okay, so we started at 28% uh, and we went to 49%. So actually 20% or 21% of charge, it uh, was really only took like 10 minutes. So now we're gonna unplug here because it's saying it got a 10 minute grace period charge time was almost eight minutes as you can see there we got a total energy delivered of 16 kilowatt hours uh basically 21 percent of the of the car um with hst and charging fees and everything came to five dollars and five cents so five bucks we got a uh, 16 kilowatts and we got a 21 percent that's pretty good so there you have it folks that is the genuine ccs adapter for the tesla now not all uh model y's and model 3's or even s's can do this now check i think the newer ones probably should be able to but double check in your car and i'll show you quickly how to check for that so you go to uh, uh settings you go to software down at the bottom and uh if you look here and you click on additional information it'll tell you and it says ccs adapter support enabled if yours doesn't say that and there are some 2021's uh, even at the late 2021s that actually didn't say that. So uh, be careful, make sure your car is enabled so the CCS will work. And that's it folks, that is the Tesla CCS adapter, not here in Canada yet, but or in North America, but hopefully coming soon. This may be worth it, even though it costs between, like I said, three, four hundred, five hundred dollars. This may be worth it if you uh, travel a lot. The way the supercharging rates here in Canada at least have skyrocketed lately, this may be worth it over time if you charge, uh, if you travel a lot and you are on a lot of road trips and stuff, and you need to travel. I got it mainly because I'm going on an East Coast uh, trip this summer with the family, and. In the eastern part of Canada, there's not a lot of superchargers, if any, in certain provinces. There's, they don't even exist right now. So, I've got a Chatmo adapter, but in conjunction with the Chatmo, I also got this one. So maybe I can get some faster speeds, and it just gives, it opens up a lot more, uh, you know, avenues. That if I was just dependent on Chatmo, then you know what? If I get to one charging location and it doesn't work, I'm screwed. So at least I've got the CCS as a backup, or I'll use the chat was back but that's all i got for you today folks like i said uh, please don't ask me to get you one i can't i would love to get everyone one and um not for free but help you get it but i can't it's just um logistically i can't do it for you but uh check it out see if you can get it on your own if you've got a korean friend or something uh maybe they can help you out talk to you later Bye bye